17th, the 14th day of Veda, and today I'm going to talk about something that people have been asking me a lot about since about September. Why did I stop making Glog? For the uninitiated, Glog was my video series where I recapped each new episode of Glee. Fans of Glee liked it, but what was more remarkable was that a lot of people who don't watch Glee or don't like Glee actually really enjoyed the series as well. So that was really cool. Evidently I did a good job of making something that should have been for a very niche audience actually entertaining for anyone else. So why would I stop doing something that I was having a good time with and people were enjoying? There's a handful of reasons for that. Number one, it took a surprising amount of time and effort. At the time, I didn't have a TV, so I usually had to go to a friend's place to watch it, and I don't have a lot of friends who A, own TVs, and B, actually like Glee, so it was never anyone who lived close to me. And I was working out of an office, so I either had to film it that night, which didn't leave me a lot of time to put together a good script, or what I usually did was wake up at 6 a.m. and shoot the video before going into work and then edit on my lunch break and continue editing when I got home from work, which meant that most of my Friday evenings last spring were spent editing Glee video blogs. Not exactly how I want to be spending my Friday nights. When Glee came back in the fall for season 5, it should have been a lot easier for me to make vlog. I have a TV now, I'm working from home, but when the season started, work was really busy and I just moved, so it just kind of wasn't happening, and I wasn't so driven to do it anymore. I wasn't enjoying it enough to put in the time required to do it well. One of the smaller reasons that I stopped enjoying it was Honestly, I became a little embarrassed by it. I still think that the videos I made were great and I am proud of them, but I didn't want that to be what I'm known for. Even though I was always very specific about staying within the TV show and not discussing actors or anything, it still felt a little too fan-ish for me. Not that there is anything at all wrong with being a fan or being associated with the Glee fandom or any fandom, but the nature of my professional job is networking with a lot of people, oftentimes people that our community is fans of, and I just started feeling like something I didn't really want them to know about. And I feel kind of like a jerk saying any of that because I think if you're a fan of something you should totally own it. And I don't think anything I did during Glog crossed any lines or even anything close to that, but getting to have deep conversations with people who, as public figures, have had negative experiences with fans, which has not at all ruined their experience with fans, they still love their fans, and nothing they told me was stuff I hadn't heard or considered before, but hearing it from the horse's mouth, I guess, really affected me, and made me a bit uncomfortable with publicizing something where I'm acting like a super fan. That really wasn't enough to make me decide to stop, though. It made me think a lot, but I was still pretty much intending to continue Glog in the fall. But what pushed me against it further was Cory Monteith dying. And again, I feel a little bit silly to say that a celebrity I didn't know or, or you know, maybe it's the fictional character, that their death affected me so much. Though, honestly, I could wax academic for a while on why that's a totally valid emotion, but that doesn't make me feel any less silly to be saying it. But the thing of it is, he died shortly after my high school boyfriend passed away last summer. In fact, I heard the news about Cory the night I returned home from having been at his funeral. It was kind of this immediate feeling of, I can't deal with this right now. I just had to block it out. It was far too close to home. I've mentioned a lot how Glee mirrors a lot of my high school experience, like, to a creepy level. And at my ex-boyfriend's funeral, the high school choir reunited to sing at the service. Can't get more glee than that. So I just sort of still haven't been able to process that Cory Monteith died. I did not watch the tribute episode. I don't think I ever will. I just can't put myself through that. The timing of that just hit me really hard. But anyways, even through all of that, I still thought I would probably return with Glog for season 5. But when the time came, all of those factors just piled together and I couldn't. I hadn't been as interested in being involved in the fandom, which would have seriously affected like the resonance and the passion and excitement of the videos, and I actually haven't even been keeping up with the episodes. I haven't given up, I haven't quit watching, I'm just very behind. I actually finally started catching up yesterday. I'm now on the Christmas episode, so no spoilers. I have somehow remained remarkably unspoiled for what's going on in the show right now. But yeah, the spark is just kind of gone, as often happens for fandoms. You know, you go through like a really intense phase with a fandom, and then you kind of like it dies out, and you go into another fandom. It just it happens. It's just unfortunate that I had a video series going that a lot of people really enjoyed. And I know people are disappointed that I didn't continue it, but it was a passion project and the passion is gone. So there you go. Official explanation. I don't hate Glee or anything. I still really like it. I'm just not that into it anymore. But you know, if you're watching this video, that means that you've stuck with me this long, so thank you. I hope you're enjoying Veda and Will It Waffle and HPA videos and any other silly stuff I stick on the internet. And the vlogs are still up if you want to go watch them and reminisce. But yeah, this video is far too long, so I'm gonna go now. I'll talk to you tomorrow.